It's Tuesday the 20th of April, um, so exactly a week on from my last sort of pub visit to the beer gardens and uh, I've taken an impromptu half day because I'm going to pop down to a brewery to pick up some beer um, but I thought I might as well stop at a few pubs on the way and what a difference a day a uh, week makes at this stage, the weather's so much better. Um, I've had to book actually this one um, because well they look very busy and there's a pub just down here so I'm in Winchmore Hill and there's a pub down there called the King's Head. Big grand pub. There didn't look to be any space, but I might still try. But for me, I am going to the Salisbury just down here. So let's go to the pub. So the Salisbury Arms is a Michelin Butler's pub falling under their Castles brand. It used to be Ember Inns, but they've obviously moved up market with it. Let's get into the pub. And first point. Uh, Beaver Town uh, Bloody Hell, so that orange bit. Beautiful. Cheers, mate. No worries, bro. Thank cool. you. Cheers. Food. Lovely food. <sighs> yeah, so first drink Beaver Town Bloody Hell. Nice ginger, uh, not ginger, orange nuts coming off it. And some food because it is lunchtime. So chips and calamari. Eating my food. And uh, yeah, I'm drinking the God Orange um, beer from Beaver Town. Not a huge fan of it. I had it before at their brewery when they released it, not the first year, but one of the other years. It's okay. It's got the blood orange in there, but yeah, it's it's okay. I think it was about six fifty a pint here. I have. Um, I'm gonna have one more drink here, and then I've just got confirmation my next booking, which is I could walk it. But I'm gonna be lazy and get a train, um, as there's a bit of cloud cover, and I haven't brought a jumper. I've been stupid, <laughs> but one more bit here, and then I'll go on to the other place. Second pint. Yes, thank you. Good old Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. A classic. Always good in a bottle in the UK, but keg. Does it add a difference? Not as carbonated. Um, in the keg. <laughs> I always find this one a bit dangerous. Um, the ABV of it is not what it feels. It's very sessionable. Got a pack of crisps to go with it as well. Good old Tyrrells. Pipers or Tyrrells do well. That's going to go down well. Even though it may be cold, it may warm me up a little bit. Make me feel a bit warmer under this cloud. I realise I've got my headphones in because I was watching something just beforehand while I'm chilling in. Right. Um, I was just going to say, I'll see you outside the pub or the next pub, but actually, just thought I'd explain the layout of the pub here. So I'm in the car park here, which they've built a canopy over um, towards the front or side of the pub area. They've got a normal seating area that they have with benches where most people are sat. I opt in to sit over the quieter area. And at the back, they've got two huts that hold about six people, obviously, right now, but they're, they're nice indoor little huts with heaters. And they're good for a group to go in. Um, the interior is quite nice and this pub as well. Um, wish I could take you in. Um, I'm not popping into the toilets. I'm literally going to jump onto the next pub once I finish this. But yeah, it's a solid pub, although the pricing is very much central London, although it's out of London, outer London. But uh, which one it is a higher price mark area, anyways. But this is actually cheaper, uh, Sierra Nevada, than it was for the uh, Bloody Hell from Beaver Town, which is obviously closer. This is US. I don't know. It's probably manufactured by Chevrolet in the UK. And then uh, you've got 
bloody hell made by Beaver Town, but it's different, uh, you know, ingredients and levels. Uh, but I think it's about 6.05. Again, more central than pricing. Right, I'll see you outside the next pub. By the way, change of plan there actually. Um, I've seen that the King's Head pub that I talked about before, which is Young Pub on the corner, they had some seating outside, and uh, this is for walk-in. So I've ordered a pint of Young's uh, Gold, which is £4.90, I think, for the pint. Car scale. So unfortunately, I'm on a busy main road, but otherwise, it's all fine. This is a really, really nice pub. Very, uh... There all the cars go by. <laughs> um, very Victorian style, very grand. We've got a little patio garden out back as well, and it's a proper L-shaped pub. Really nice inside as well. Um, yeah, uh, it's Young's as well. Um, Young's always tend to be more upmarket or quality style. They go for the higher level. You tend to find that with Young's and Fuller's. That's what they're aiming for. They're going up market, especially with the food and all the rest. I don't know if you're picking up half the noises I am. That's why this is only going to be a one pinter at this place. I'm not going to stay around for two. But I was only coming here because I haven't had a Young's Ale in ages, and I thought better come here and have a Young's Ale. It's um, original. I think I said gold. Um, they rebranded really everything, didn't they? They're London. They had special London and the likes. They rebranded everything. So it's a swift pint in half an hour. And then we'll run down to the train station. But really good temperature. Nice head on it. Different glass than I'm in. I'm, I was expecting it to come in. Not your typical ale glass, but that's fine by me. Nice carbonation level fruity and smooth yeah that's a thumbs up from me on that one that was nice probably the best beer of the day so far i thought i'd just uh, show you the outside of the pub because you haven't seen it from your angle so uh hopefully you're able to see that that's the king's head pub here in winchmore hill that's a beautiful grand building on the outside having to lower to get that spire in at the top so uh yeah i'm gonna jump on the train now and you'll see me at the next pub Trust the sun to come out after I finished at the pub. Oh, feeling really nice and warm now with the sun shining on me. Even it, though it's dipping behind that cloud slightly, it's still really warm here. If I only had that when I was drinking those nice cold beers. Oh well. Right, I'm a bit late for my next pub. Um, I did say I'll be there at half past three, and it is half three right now. Um, so, ooh, I think I'm going to probably be getting out at about four o'clock. So I hope I do get a space. Otherwise, the couple is a couple, not a trio. But I do want to make this a trio or even a quad. Let's see. Right. Next time, I promise you, I've said this like twice now, third time, you will see me on the approach to the pub. I'm hoping I'm not too late for my next booking at uh, this pub coming up. The pub has a bit of a uh, history for me. Uh, so I'm, I've made my way out to Alexandra Palace, or as it's affectionately known, Ali Pali. I can see the pub ahead of me, and there looks to be space outside. I'm kind of hoping that means there's space for me to duck in, even if it is only for a pint. Yeah, I think I should be able to make that. I'm looking, going, yeah, there's some space for a, a loner like me to have a pint. So. Uh, I'm going to swing round once I get a view out of this park area. But I was saying, yeah, this pub has a, a history for me. Uh, good pub, good memories. Um, and uh, it closed down, but then was bought out and uh, they had a brewery installed in there as well. So it's gone through a lot, but let me get across this road. So yeah, the next pub is the Prince in N22 or whatever it is at this stage. <laughs> N22 the Prince. But 
yeah, I'm going to sit down and try and grab a pint. Speak to you in a moment. Trying to get the uh, light correct on this. There we go. So I'm at the prints. Obviously, halfway over halfway through the pint. Uh, this is uh, our Masty Green, based up in Newcastle, Pale Ale, 5%. Five, five very hazy, very hazy. Uh, it's uh, mainly mosaic, so it means it's uh, grassy and a bit of... Um, uh, what else is in there? Grass and... My nose was there and I've completely forgotten it. Pine pine as I tasted out there, straight away a bit of pine in there. Nice, pricey at 7 20 for a pint, but this is a craft ale pub. I'm gonna order two halves of some ale actually next. Um, so they do ale here, and I'm gonna be having half of the Kush Kingdom from Tapstone, and I'm gonna have a half of the Amasti Simple Pleasures, which is a, a hazy pale, so hazy IPA and hazy pale. Keeping it hazy, I guess. Um, but yeah, this this pub for me has a bit of a history. Um, so it actually ties in slightly. I'd say there's a history for um, the UK Brew Project this uh, week um, on Sunday. I've got the UK Brew Project about a brewery that used this pub for brewing. I'm going there to pick up my beer next, so you'll see who they are. And um, for me. One of my early pubs I used to drink in. Um, yeah, a lot of memories here, a lot of memories at this pub. And I, I came back when it reopened under the, well, it was closed for a long time and then reopened. And they added in the um, brewery at that stage. So I, I came here as well. But yeah, good pub, good pub. Got my two ales. Um, strangely, I said both of them are hazy. So this is Kush and this is. What's the other one? Well, I'll go for Kush while I try and remember what the other one is, or look it up, I should say. Simple pleasures. So, Kush via Tapstone. Oh, okay. Uh, quite a lot of bitterness on there. A bit of green hop as well. And this is the Simple Pleasures. Gracia, much better. Much better. Yeah, so I've just finished up at the Prince. I didn't really talk that much uh, because it's quite... Um, it's not close together, it's just people are sat next to you on the side the whole time. So uh, it was a bit weird if I was talking to a camera and there was just... Uh, to begin with, there was this dude on the side and then he went, I quickly recorded and then some more people turned up and they're not far from you in a sense. I know like social distancing wise it's fine but they can hear everything that's happening whereas uh, it's not been like that at the other pubs I've been to so yeah that's been the prints I said for me there's a bit of history there uh, I say first pub not first pub I drank in but one of the early pubs that I was drinking in and I came here for its um, sort of grand reopening after it was closed for many years turned into a craft beer pub with its own brewery and I say has a link the brewery is linked to the uh well the brewery in the pub the brew pub is linked to the brewery that i'm about to go to to pick up beer and perhaps have a pint as well on camera depends let's see either this is goodbye or you're going to see me in a second so here i am at my final stop the brewery and uh, this is the goodness brewery based in wood green my aim was to pick up a few cans, maybe have a pint here and then head home with the cans and then record the UK Brew Project later on in the week for my publication on Sunday. Unfortunately, I only have one can available and uh, that's a stout. So what I've decided to do is I've picked up the beers that they have available on tap, which is only three of them, unfortunately, but we are in difficult times. And uh, I'm going to do a UK brewery project here at the brewery for the uh, channel so uh, check out that broadcast